everyone to your numerology reading for the month. I hope you guys are doing great out there. If you friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, guys, let's see what's going on with you this month in numerology. This is a collective energy reading. So let's dive right in and see what's going on. Best messages coming out for the collective. We have completion, number nine, completing. Ooh. So whatever it is that you're looking at, you have definitely already completed or in the process of completing. So Spirit says, keep going strong, keep going where you know you're going, but make sure that you have patience. So I do feel like for a lot of you, because of the patience card just fell out, um, <laughs> right? When I do these guys, I don't look at them. I just let them fly. Um, so it is saying that you're on your way, more than likely, on your way to completion. Um, so just go with the flow and allow yourself to have that patience to let it in the way it needs to end. Uh, don't try to control the situation. Uh, we do have a spiritual partnership. Ooh, so you do have a spiritual partnership coming in. That's okay. So it does look like you are completing a one soul contract with someone and allowing a spiritual partnership to come in. Um, and having that complete. Hmm. So you do have the big yes card coming out. The spirit says yes. Stay patient for the big happy changes. And yes, the big happy changes are coming when it comes to the spiritual partnership. Whether it is a love situation um, or if it is a um, just a friendship. It doesn't matter what it is. It is time now. So if you felt like one door has closed within a relationship and it just know that a new door is opening for you um, for a big happy change. We do have dreams coming true. Wow. So this will be your dream come true. I do feel like for some of you, this could be a love relationship where you feel like you need to rebuild. You may have had a really terrible tower moment um, where everything was struck, but you will also be struck by this lightning um, in its own way um, as you feel like, okay, here we go, right? We're going to have this inner awareness that something big is going on, right? You can feel that completion. You can, And if you haven't felt it yet, it's going to come, right? And it's going to strike you and make you aware that something big is happening. So please be patient about the situation um, as the universe is weaving things around for you for your highest good. Uh, let's take a card or so on the first row, please. Show us what we need to know on the first row. We've got patience dreams coming in for the spiritual partnership. This is where your dreams are going to definitely come true with your nine of cups. Um, it does look like you have been focused. A lot of you have been passionately working. So it could even be um, someone who is going to give you a job. Somebody who is going to help you with skill development. Um, wow. If it is a love situation, this could definitely be a high... Um, ooh, very high standard relationship when it comes to spiritual partnership. Just think about it. You know, they're walking the same spiritual path that you are walking. And a lot of you probably are waiting for that one person. It's like, if I am grown and I know my spirituality, I would like to share that with someone who is the same, like-minded, like-hearted, like-soul-like. And that's exactly what it's saying. They have the same. This person is the same as you, um, right? And this person, wow is definitely going to focus on you with a lot of passion. Oh my gosh, you're running in so fast. This is going to happen really quick, guys. Be patient, guys, okay? Because this is happening quick. I got the Knight of Swords. They're coming in really ambitious and very, very fast. Fastest night in the deck. This is a fast thinking person. This person is going to come in with their truth, their love, their desire, and being very driven to succeed. So whatever the situation is for you, you know what it is. They're driven to offer you this job, offer you this partnership. It could even be a you're waiting for a partner to run a business with um, or a love situation. Either, However, you know what it is. Oh my gosh, yeah. Because it is. It's completed and you're getting ready to start a brand new world. The completion. You got the world card. So from a completion to a completion. This is where your ultimate fulfillment is coming in and arriving. And you have the Knight of Swords coming in as he is arriving because of the completion. He's saying, this is now completed, so now I, I can come running in. 
Wow. Okay. So say yes to the dress over here. Uh, Spirit says, yes, this is it. And I guess I need you to have a little bit of patience because when it does come in, it's going to be fast and furious. Um, right now you might feel a little bit of heartbreak and a little suffering, a little depression, a little delays, a little confusion about the situation. Could be from that tower moment that you had. Um, you could even feel like there is some delays to this to this progress. Um, and this is where the patient is going to really come in. But Spirit says, I need you to slow down, relax, you know, and it's it's okay. It's okay, right? You didn't miss no opportunity. If anything, the opportunity is coming right at you. You just needed to complete something. I needed to take something away. I needed to destroy something to bring something up, um, right? Because whatever it was, and if you guys know that you just went through some kind of divorce or loss, whatever it was that happened, Spirit says it was all divine, divinely done, okay? It needed to happen so we could bring this person in for you. Um, on the rebuild over here, you have the star card. Yes, please keep the hope and faith alive. Remember that you have a purpose. This is your spiritual fortune. I am giving you the second biggest yes card in the deck. The star. Planning and seeking and progress. I'm. There's a lot of decisions that have to be have to be made. So you might even feel like there is the universe is planning, divinely planned, divinely guided. To attain the goals that are needed for the happy success, this all had to come this way. You're going to discover this, though. You're going to have that ultimate awareness when, you know, when this tower happens or right after this tower or, or right now. If you haven't had the tower yet, it's coming. If you've already just gone through this tower, you no matter what, you're going to have this divine awareness. You might even have the divine awareness when the person comes through. It will all strike you because you're definitely going to have that overall understanding. Holding tight to what is yours. This is where the death card has to come in as well for that change, the ending to the new beginning for the change and transformation. Just hold on tight. Keep yourself balanced. So we have a lot of numbers over here. That, you know, you guys might be seeing a lot of nines and a lot of ones um, and maybe even a lot of sevens. Um, why? Because, well, because the nines are the endings, the ones are the new beginnings, and the sevens are the divinely protected and divinely done. And if you're seeing a lot of fours as well, that's also a message from the universe saying this is divinely protected. Nothing can touch this. That's where the stability is coming from for the solid foundation. Huh. But yeah, and the big happy surprise is that overall, just knowing of the Ace of Pentacles, thank you, is the Ace of Pentacles. So don't allow yourself to have any kind of restrictions or restrict yourself from any kind of situations. If you felt like you were in a really bad situation, just remember this is all being lifted for a good reason. Even if you felt like things were kind of going a good way, but then everything fell so hard, it was just saying that that contract is over. I need you to go somewhere else. Um, keep yourself self-disciplined in this situation. Okay, because there is no work without reward. You are definitely getting your reward, my friends. Okay, so if you feel like you're stuck and you're having no reward coming to you, just remember it's coming fast and furious. Okay, so follow your heart and know exactly where you're going. And, you know, for a lot of you, it could be a very romantic situation. Um, but this is definitely going to drive you right to your heart's desire. Um, you might not even see it that way at this time, especially after we have towers or we have bad moments or we have loss or we have, you see what I'm saying? But everything is divinely put together for your better good and for your higher self. So just allow the process to continue and be patient, my friends, okay? You might even see a lot of two, two, two patience and balance that will be needed through this situation, okay? So getting an overall card for the situation, please. Wow, what a beautiful reading. And yeah, you have this beautiful gift coming as a gift from the universe with the Ace of Pentacles. A very solid gift, something that doesn't just break and or go out or any of the above. 
Uh, take time to tune into your body and recognize the messages it's trying to send you. So just take time to meditate and relax. Always look for the good, even in the most difficult situations. See, that's it right there. That's what I was saying. Right now, it might feel like it's a difficult situation. You might feel like doors are not opening for you, but that's because you're going through this completion um, to get to that overall goal. Um, so don't be afraid to slow down, as this is when you can make real inner changes. So I just say, slow down, rest. It's okay. Right? Follow your heart's desire. Allow everything to come together the way it needs to come together. Okay? It's all coming together for an, a divine purpose. Okay? This is just the way that everything, everything has changed, right? We change from fall to winter, from winter to spring to summer, and this is just another way that our lives will change. Um, okay? Bringing in this beautiful new situation, okay, to help you along your life's journey. Okay, until next time, my friends, peace and love. Bye-bye.